All right, so yesterday we got a new final boss for um, Ludosio. And, uh, you know, we always appreciate new final bosses with new rewards. And uh, this is how the full outfit looks like. I really dig this orb behind his back. I think it looks really cool. Uh, it does clip through his wing, which is, I think, a, a bit of a uh, mistake there. But, I mean, I probably will be rocking this cosmetic just with the Holy Relic. I think the Holy Relic looks pretty good in combination. I just kind of wish it looked a little bit more like Tarmio. Like, Tarmio is, I think, how the male co costumes should look like. Listen, I think that they're buff, right? They might as well be, be displaying their bodies. Listen, it is what it is, you know? <laughs> the anime characters just look like that. Uh, but I, I do like the costume for Ludo Ciel nonetheless, especially the headpiece. I think the headpiece looks pretty cool with the orb. And then we also have Margaret. So I'll be using both of these uh, just for display. We don't have the headpiece, which is probably the best part for Ludo Ciel. But for Margaret, she just has the like these things above the head. I mean, this is how the full costume looks like. It looks okay. I probably will still be rocking the Halloween costume, which is my, my favorite. Um, but for Margaret, also the weapon looks bland in comparison to the holy relic right the holy relic looks so cool so if i was to run it would be like the holy relic plus the haircut which also has like these like light this light coming out of it so i think it looks actually pretty uh well thematic so not bad probably the regular alpha as well with the haircut and the uh holy relic looks pretty good but let's let's give it a go i mean we all know these characters, right? I'm glad Ludociel got one because, I mean, some people out there still want to build Ludociel and they might be missing, like, a headpiece or a weapon. Ludociel, over the years, has gotten a few free cosmetics. So another set of free cosmetics is cool, especially UR, so it's cheap to upgrade. And, you know, I use Ludociel pretty often, so it's just another costume for him, especially with the headpiece, which... I can't use it for like two weeks because we, we need to wait for uh, it to be distributed. Uh, what are the odds he has dodge food? Pretty high. Pretty high. So I'm actually gonna first attack with Odosio and then I'll attack with Ascanor. Pretty high odds of dodge food because he only has 315. Yep, dodge food right there. We won't be killing the Meliodas now because of it. Uh, but never mind, we're using Odosio. I almost forget that tiny detail that when you use Ludociel, the enemies are like paper and Ascanori scissors. So they, he just absolutely rams through any and everyone. Okay, let's see the <laughs> let's see the Ludociel level 2 animation, right? I want to get potentially a winning screen of him, but if I don't, it's alright. It doesn't even have the best piece anyways. So it, it, this is more like a, uh, a first view since I have to wait for the... Uh, the uh, other rewards to be given out first before I actually can use the full outfit. Let's, uh, let's combine these. Nope. I meant to do this. And then we'll... My game is pretty laggy right now. I don't know why. We'll do this. Get a nice closer look as well. It looks pretty cool. Again, that headpiece though. Is the best part of the outfit well like tarmio i felt like the headpiece was the worst part of the outfit because it doesn't have like him showing his eye properly like the other outfits do and like the, the chest piece is pretty good it's like the complete opposite for this luciel while i also think that you know the weapon is pretty bland in comparison to the holy relic which makes sense right it's a holy relic um what are the odds Bond survives the first hit and then dies to Ludosio. So I can just get the winning screen. Very low. Very low odds. I'm actually kind of glad they're already done with all the Archangels because right now, I think what they're going to do is they're going to redo the Sins, which I think needed a redone for sure. Oh, let's get level 3 Zoof Ludosio. Godfrey's going to rank himself up. If they can go back and make a costume, like, you know, for the Archangels, the outfits work for any of their versions. If they can do that for Meliodas, for Deanne, Elizabeth, I just literally saw these characters in front of me and I listed them. I don't know if you noticed that. The new Bond, right? So you can work with the festivals, that'd be great because no one's using 
base demon Meliodas, right? No one's using Nunchuk Bond. So th those super boss outfits are completely useless. No one's using base Askinor. All these characters are currently irrelevant. So if they go back and redo all the sins, that will be fantastic, right? Especially for outfits that would work on all of the festivals versions, like all the festival versions of Meliodas and stuff like that. So like both trader Meliodas and this new Meliodas, that would be great. So I think, you know, hopefully the next one won't be something like, I don't know, Catastrophes, which they might, they might go into like other characters, but I really do hope it is Sins. They go back, redo the Sin outfits, because, I mean, some of them are still very good. I think that the Bond one is very good. The Melly one is kind of a fan favorite. I think, I think it looks kind of goofy, but, you know. They could, like, do a new version of the already existing costumes. It wouldn't take them too much effort. Just make it available for all of the versions of those characters. And I think everyone would like it, you know? A lot of characters, a lot of players, again, are missing, like, one haircut for Trader Meliodas or something, because they don't want to just buy it, right? Trader Meliodas already kind of ran his life cycle. So buying a new headpiece for him right now is not the smartest thing, right? So it was just great. It would just be great for... Uh, for players, they don't want to waste resources like that. Also, like Lost Vein, right now. No, I want to get a winning screen. No, Lost Vein right now kind of sucks, but he could get a good Holy Relic. So you know, getting like a full new outfit for him would be great. Stuff like that. What are, what are the chances they do that though? I think pretty high. They honestly, I think they're in a decent track record. With this, these past celebrations, they've been doing pretty good. And we'll do one more little Lucia, then we go to Margaret. I put him on the left so we can get the, the cut in better. Uh, we won't be playing much with Margaret. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think Margaret is in a really great spot right now in the meta. So I, I, I don't have much desire <laughs> to uh, use her very much. But uh, Ludo Xiao is if you can go first, right? If you can go first, there's so many teams. I literally just used him with Mono, which worked pretty well. You know, we got some team wipes and stuff, but Ascanor. And plus Ludo CL. You don't have to use Galfer. I use Galfer here just for big numbers, but I see still a lot of players using Ludo CL, Ascanor, and like the new Meliodas or Merlin. Not this one, but you know, Lolly Merlin. You know, those those team comps still work with Ludo CL. Well, Margaret is like, there's no real team comp for Margaret currently. There is some copium of goddesses here and there, but. No, there's no legitimately actual good team with Margaret, unfortunately. But, you know, who knows in the future. Holy shit! That did damage! God damn! I might just lose here. Um, let's kill the uh, the Ron here. The Ron? Let's kill the Ron here. So he loses some stats and a turn. Oh, she, she died. Okay. Good. He's not defense lord though, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't exactly kill Nanashi, man. Nanashi is actually pretty crazy. It's the, the big difference that one holy relic can make for a whole like type of character, right? These all these characters, the unknowns, were pretty bad after Askler's release, and then one character gets a good holy relic, and then. All of a sudden, unknowns are relevant again. Who would have guessed, right? Holy relics are game-changing. Who would have guessed? Not a marble, since they refuse to make new holy relics. Like, legitimately, the, before this, we went months without any. And now the new mono came out, she needs a relic. How long are we going to have to wait, right? Let's move on to Margaret. I'll play one or two with her. Okay, call me uh, unoriginal, but I don't really... I didn't really care to change the team. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do this. Buff up the damage for Ascanor. Rimuru is gonna get the pierce and stuff, but you know. It's Margaret just doesn't have a place right now in the game. It is what it is. Maybe um, when Mayal comes out. Oh, nice starch food. Maybe when Mayal comes out, we, uh, we have like a, a spot for Margaret. But right now, it, it really ain't it. You know, there's no good team for her. And I I, I'm, I might just back out of this match. I, I I don't think I can win. I didn't get a finger for Ascanor. I 
I can just cleanse next turn, but... Rim was about to get the, uh... His big thing. Um... The Pierce, whatever. Uh, I'll attack with Margaret, why not? I don't think I would be able to get the ultimate anyways, because he's probably just gonna kill her. I think with the headpiece it would look better, but again, I, I much prefer the uh, the Halloween outfit. Okay, we got a finger. So you can kill Meliodas. We have the damage increase still, not the damage reduction. Could be, I mean, if Margaret dies, I might as well just back out. Because, like, at that point, um, Bond comes to the field, I lose Galfrey passive, there's no point. Yeah. Just too slow. I had to put my blue card, and because of that, I couldn't take off the, the dodge first, like I did with Lucille for, uh, for the other match. Non-attacking skills are just really not good in this current meta. Um, well, good for this, I'm just facing right now, if I let Merlin live. But, in general... These non-attack skills are just not good in the current meta because you you need damage. Like it's just too slow. It's hard to explain because you know for I think a lot of the a lot of the times in this game I missed most of the crits there. If I had the other one, I would have just killed. Uh, for the majority of this game's lifespan, I feel like non-attack cards have been like really really good. But right now. It's just too slow. Like, characters need to do their thing and do their thing fast or it's game over, right? And for Margaret, she just takes too long. I think she might even be the character that's replaced for the god team because... Unless, unless Mild does something with, like, blue cards or something, I don't know. Um, let's go for this. I don't... She didn't have the Tarmiel, did she? So we just cleanse the attack seal. Cleansing is good for this. When you face a attack sealing Merlin, red Galfer team, pretty good. But then we did like almost no damage here. This should kill Galfer, right? Missed every crit. <laughs> Didn't kill Galfer. I should have attacked Galfer. I wanted to make sure Akina died. But honestly, I should have attacked Gaffer because the extra damage from the finger would have probably killed Margaret. I would have done so much more damage to the Gaffer. It's crazy. Oh, we'll cleanse again. Well, we, we actually made her work, so that's great. We actually made her work. That's fantastic. Um, but I'll end the video. Oh, he went for Ascular with that rank. I thought I was going to go for Margaret. Get like a killing blow on Margaret. That would have been smarter, actually. Um... Because if he killed Ascanor, then I would have been unattack sealed. He knows that, right? He must. <laughs> he must know that. Um, you know, I'm going to make sure Gaffer dies so he loses a turn. Because I don't think I can kill Merlin. I don't think I got the DPS for that. I don't think I got the facilities for that. Oh, this this kills the Asco oh, the, uh, the Merlin. Okay. And it went, that's fine. It's probably not gonna kill. It did kill. Good. It mo I don't know what the stats are on uh, on Nanashi. If he has good, def I can't imagine he he does have good stats because he came out first the first January banner of 2021. Too long ago. Since we didn't get to see the ultimate with the alpha, I thought of uh, playing the ult from the uh, the stage. I haven't actually seen if it's a new one or if it just plays the regular ultimate. It's just a regular ultimate. But we get a closer look at that uh, headpiece, which I don't have access to. Looks pretty good. Especially from the back there. Yeah. Damn, he looks cool. I wish the Margaret... Uh, maybe a lot, of, a lot of people actually like the Margaret one. Maybe I'm just a hater.